Hi everybody and welcome to BI Navigation. Before we move along and look at the um, the ledger map and the report table in um, the Power BI structure, we're just going to have a little look at how the mapping process works. Uh, if we start life off with um, a, a standard Excel accounts mapping process, we will probably have uh, some ledger codes as a hidden column, some signage as a hidden column, and where we have a ledger code uh, that we can map directly, we'll use some sum ifs calculations to work out those numbers from a trial balance tab and then we'll add them up uh, put some percentages in some calculations in and uh, we end up with a set of accounts absolutely fine in a small or medium sized set of ledgers um, but Excel as you've probably seen in this scenario um, might start to take a long time to calculate when you hit F9 or calc and that's because each of these individual calculations are performed separately or performed individually in Excel and if you're building a large set of management accounts, that, that becomes quite unwieldy. And Excel's calculation time, every time you want to change something, takes quite some time. So let's move off that and on to how, um, how Power BI manages this process. Um, most, most accounting systems will have a chart of accounts, um, which is basically the structure of the, the ledger codes and, and what, what the numbers mean. They'll all have ledger code and, and a ledger description. And most modern systems will have some level of tiering. Uh, so level one in this instance is gross profit, level two is product one and product two. Um, but you can see in any hierarchical thing, um, you never get the best of all worlds. So that hierarchy is, is not calculating sales and cost of sales totals. So we need to add in some other, uh, some other mappings on the right hand side. And those mappings could be used for anything you um, you want to get in Power BI um, that's sourced in, in your ledgers. Uh, an example might be um, payroll costs, wages costs, where some of those wages costs are in cost of sales, some of them are in expenses, and you can pull all of those together with another column in here saying this, these are the ledger codes that make up my wages. Um, Power BI unfortunately can't read across uh, very well from a from a uh, from a structured table. So we need to be able to convert that into a ledger allocation table. And if we have a look here, what's happening, um, some of these are mapped one for one. So ledger code 4000 goes into report line 4000, all very straightforward. But as we start to make additions, we'll see that, um, that the ledger codes start to repeat. So total gross here has got all four ledger codes in it. Uh, Product gross one has got the four thousands. Product gross two has got the the, the, the five thousands, uh, and so on. We'll talk about the little rep key thing at the, on the right hand side in the, in a short time. Um, and we generate all of that with a power a power query script. Um, it would be too difficult to maintain that ledger allocation manually. We we never get the right number of rows. We never get this, but it's very easy to maintain it on the on, within the within the extended chart of accounts. Um, and we've written a, a Power Query script that takes that and produces this. So one click of a button, and we can get our ledger allocation through. And then this will hook up to the Power PI. Power BI report page. The Power BI report page is, um, is what the user will see. So the user will see this area here. But the structure of that Power BI report page, um, that Power BI report table, is, is quite complex and covers off a number of things. Um, but we can see what we've done here is we've generated a report line, a number. Uh, that, those numbers correspond to this. And they will create, they will create the information we need for a one-to-many relationship at a later stage in, in Power BI. If you recall from the structure, we've got a flat star schema structure or a flat star schema model in Power BI, and this starts to um, enable that to happen. Um, we've talked just about the blue lines here. Um, the, the, white, the white rows here we'll, we'll talk about at a later stage when we get into the DAX, into the um, Power BI formula and look at how those are generated. Um, but we can see that Power BI will generate four numbers, which it will add up to produce total gross. Uh, it will produce two numbers, which will 
um, sorry, two numbers which will add up to total sales and that will produce this. Um, and it will do that because I have two 12s here and I have one 12 there. And that um, is really the power behind Power BI in terms of accounting financials. Uh, I hope that makes sense to everybody. And in the next video, we'll return back to um, the spreadsheet holding the structure and work those principles forward a little bit more and see how that works with, with a larger chart of accounts. Thanks for watching. Look forward to the next video.